my first paycheck. Most of it is already gone because I have so much stuff that I have to pay off. $904.35 taken out in taxes. So my starting wage as a new grad, a registered nurse in the emergency department. I have waited forever to make this video. Hi. Hi. And he has been waiting a really long time to get some new treats and toys. I am going to be completely open and transparent with you guys about exactly how much money I'm making as a new grad registered nurse in the emergency department. For me personally, all throughout nursing school and prior to applying for nursing school, I never got a definite solid answer of how much money a registered nurse actually makes. You can obviously Google it, but the salary varies immensely and it's all dependent upon your location and the hospital facility that you're working at. I didn't even know how much money I was actually going to be making until I got my offer letters from the positions that I applied for and interviewed for. Therefore, I wanted to share with you guys real numbers of how much I'm making as a registered nurse. I'm going to be discussing my personal pay, so my base pay and my shift differentials, and then break down my first paycheck with you guys. Hallelujah. Discussing money has never really bothered me. It comes and it goes, as my mom would like to say, and I know how curious you can be looking into this profession, so I hope I can alleviate any of those questions that you may have. Before we jump into numbers, because I have everything written down right here, I want to mention a website I will be sharing with you guys at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. It's a website regarding registered nurses' salaries across the nation. It is amazing, trust me. Right off the bat, I want to mention that I do live on the West Coast. I live in the state of Oregon. Again. When I accepted my position as a new grad nurse, I was hired on for nights. So first we'll get into my personal pay. So my starting wage as a new grad registered nurse in the emergency department has a base pay of $38.75 an hour. Now that doesn't include any differentials. So the night shift differential is an extra $4.75 on top of that, which is what I will mostly be working, but that doesn't go into effect until 2300, so 11 o'clock at night, to 0700, 7 o'clock in the morning. Therefore, from 11 at night to 7 in the morning is the only time that's applicable to be receiving the night shift differential. However, there is an evening shift differential of $2.50 an hour, and this goes into effect at 1800, so 6 o'clock in the evening to 2300, 11 o'clock at night. As you can see, my hourly pay will be a combination of my base pay with night shift differential mixed in with evening shift differential. And there's also a week Weekend shift differential of $2.25 that begins Friday at 2300 so Friday night at 11 o'clock and ends Sunday night at 2300 so Sunday night at 11 o'clock at night. Obviously, being the type of person that I am and also not having a steady source of income for the past several years while in school, I wanted to know exactly how much money I was going to be making an hour. So working night shift, I'll be working from seven at night to seven in the morning, approximately, give or take. From seven to 11, I will be making $41.25 an hour. And then from 11 to seven, I will be making $43.50. 50 cents an hour. This doesn't include any of the weekend shift differential. I think I will be rotating weekends, but I'm not entirely sure. Another thing that is super amazing and I know I sure as hell am excited about is time and a half overtime. So after you reach your initial 40 hours that week, you will bump into overtime. However, there is something that I think people don't necessarily realize. And if you are only working three 12s in that work week, you're only at 36 hours. So if you do pick up an extra shift to make time and a half, your first four hours won't be that, if that makes sense. Once you hit the 40 hour mark, then it will kick in. That's something to also take into account. Another thing I want to touch on before we discuss my first paycheck, my first pay stub, exactly how much money I made and exactly how much money they took out in taxes is different incentives hospitals can offer you when they are understaffed which they all are right now. Again, every hospital will be different based on their facility, policies and protocols of what they're going to offer to nurses to work extra, pick up extra shifts. I'm not entirely sure of the exact amount of those at the hospital that I'll be working at because as a new grad, while I orient for the next three months, 
this will be done in November, fingers crossed. I actually can't pick up any extra overtime shifts. I have to max out at 40 and that is that. So I promise you, I will become well aware of these numbers as soon as I am able to pick up extra shifts. I do know in the past they would offer several hundred dollars, I'm talking like around $500, just to pick up an extra shift. And then on top of that, you are receiving time and a half and then on top of that i think they were giving an extra 25 an hour so picking up an extra shift could equate to a rough estimate of 500 dollars plus your time and a half plus another 25 dollars an hour on top of that which is absolutely insane but that is just because we are working in the nursing field in really different times and that is not what this video is about so let's move on to my first paycheck as i mentioned to you guys i am orienting so i am in a new grad residency program for the next three months and something that is a little bit different because of the department that i'm working in i'm actually in classes for the first month so i won't be in the hospital working on the floor until my second and my third month my classes are during the day monday through friday they're not during holidays so this paycheck doesn't reflect any differential we're getting all of our certifications out of the way so our acls our pals our tncc we had a basic cardiac rhythm two day three day class i don't remember it's all a blur now and then we had a test out of that so i feel really fortunate because i do feel like once i finally hit the floor i'm going to know a lot more than what i knew from nursing school only because nursing school is nursing school and that's all i'm gonna say about that also one more thing sorry this check doesn't reflect any wages taken out for my insurance so my health insurance my dental insurance and then any of my retirement 401k plan because i'm still getting all of that sorted out so in total for my first paycheck i worked 80 and a half hours 80.5 this was a combination of my base pay with some evening shift differential slightly mixed into it my gross pay was three thousand one hundred and eighty dollars and three cents and then my net pay was $2,275.68. So my net pay was actually how much money I received on my paycheck because I got $904.35 taken out in taxes, which doesn't surprise me. This includes federal, Medicare, Social Security. As hard as that is to see, I really wasn't very surprised because I have worked in the service industry up until starting nursing school and I am used to getting taxed a lot of money and then also being taxed on the tips that I make, which I think is complete BS, but that's not what this video is about again. And then I want to briefly mention this. I'm not sure how it is from state to state, but in Oregon, you used to be able to pick a number that you claim on your taxes. So I'm a single person, I would claim one. Now you do not do that. I don't really understand that and that's above my pay grade, but everybody has a personalized claim number based on how much money they're making. So that's that. I'm not claiming the highest amount. I'm not claiming the lowest amount. I am simply claiming what they are making me claim, if that makes sense. So there you have it. That is my first paycheck as a registered nurse. And I am happy to announce that most of it is already gone because I have so much stuff that I have to pay off. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> trying to hold back my tears right now. Before you guys go, I want to share with you the website I mentioned in the very beginning of this video. It'll be linked down below in my description box. And let me tell you what it is. So the link will take you to all of these anonymous Google documents that are divided up by state. Once you click on whatever state you're interested in, you will see all of these entries again that are anonymous and it'll give you the date that the entry was made. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom of that Google document, you will see current times. I don't remember when this document started, so it goes several years back. But the most important part and the reason that I'm sharing this is because you get to see entries made by registered nurses of exactly how much money they're making based on their location, the department that they work in and how many years they've been a nurse and some of them even include their shift differential you can click on any state and see exactly how much money nurses are making based on the city that they're living in the department that they work in how many years of experience they have etc it's honestly so amazing 
you're welcome. So if you're ever interested in traveling or moving, it's definitely a nice little sneak peek of what you could be receiving if you moved there and started working. I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much. I hope this was informative and answered any questions you guys have. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. He says goodbye. See you guys next time.